This time we are adding completely new chart types to the Zebra BI charts visual. Namely, we have the stacked area chart and the stacked column chart. Now let me first explain why did we decide to develop new chart types. Um, you do have stacked charts in Power BI. So let me just switch here to the native Power BI stacked column chart. And uh, it is a nice chart with all the data series and, and colors and a legend and so on. However, it may, uh, it may be difficult to actually understand charts like these uh, because if you have a lot of data series, you will not be able to actually uh, even read all the names of the data series. So for example, you will have to, the user has to switch between the, the, the legend, the parts of the legend, and so on. It's actually very hard to understand what am I looking at. So uh, in order to bridge the gap um, in the data visualization, we have developed the uh, stacked column chart and the stacked area chart. First of all, you can switch between them with our chart slider, as you can with all the other charts in the Zebra BI charts visual. All right, so this is the area chart, this is the stacked column chart now. And firstly, the legend entries. So the names of the data series are always aligned with the actual data, with the data labels. So this makes it much easier to read, much more legible. So this is called the adaptive legend and it'll just uh, follow the chart around, it's completely responsive and it will be always aligned with the data series. Next thing is um, the uh, Zero BI visual will now automatically aggregate or sum up uh, the data series uh, that are, in case you have a lot of data series, all right? So this is actually called the top N plus others feature, only this time we're using the others category to display all of the other data series um, on top of the uh, selected top N data series. Now you can reduce this with a simple click on a button here. So you have this up down command here. So you simply uh, click down to reduce the number of the uh, data series displayed and everything else will get aggregated to the others. So you will always have the top value, which is also displayed here, right? So the total for every column is always displayed here and uh, you can simply increase or decrease the number of data series being displayed. Um, all right, next thing you'll find under the settings, you'll find a lot of new settings to control the uh, behavior and display of the chart, like, uh, you know, uh, color uh, scales. Uh, you can change the display of the labels inside the chart um, to display normalized labels, like the percent of the total of each column. So you can do that. Here you have the top N. Uh, you can rename the label for the others here, so you can, you know, translate it into your own language and so on. Now, the coolest feature here is if you don't like this chart, maybe, or if you feel that maybe it's not for all the users, right? The user now has a choice because this chart is now completely integrated into all the other features of the Zebra VI charts visual, all the other functionality. Number one, with one click, the user can simply switch between small multiples and a stack chart. So the data series will just get, you know, uh, uh, flipped apart uh, into these small multiples or will be stacked one on top of the other in the uh, stack chart. So every user can do this, even viewers, after you publish your report. Um, then the next thing is, for example, here, this chart, the other one, actually has a comparison. Okay, so now what you can do is you can display not just one measure in your stack charts, you can actually add your comparisons, your, your plan, your forecast, and, and so on. In my case, I'm using a forecast here. So without a forecast, a normal stack chart, but if I actually want to add the forecast or a previous year value or a plan or something like that, 
just take it and place it into the uh, placeholder here. All right, um, this is now a stack chart with a comparison. The magic thing here is if you filter this chart, so for example, let me just um, take tablets here. What happened with my other stack chart? Now it's filtered, so it only displays one data series. And what happened is this chart, the stack chart, magically turned into a waterfall chart. Uh, it has a label here, tablet, so I know what I'm looking at, what was the filtered uh, um, data series, and so on. And you can also then, again, use the <laughs> Zebra BI charts, um, chart slider here to maybe change the display of a particular chart. Okay, so this is how you control the behavior, the filtering behavior for the end users. So, you know, uh, the users can start with stack chart, they see the total and so on. And then if they are interested in the details, you know, they will maybe filter it somewhere on the dashboard and this chart will then present the data series in a more meaningful way with all the variances, changes, uh, trends, and so on. Uh, the similar thing happens in the uh, stacked area chart. So again here, you can just split it up into uh, small charts, uh, uh, area, small area charts. And again, because they are uh, in, in this way, they are separate charts, they can have more details, uh, you, you can see, you can easily see the growth rates of each individual individual chart. You can compare the uh, trends across all the charts and so on. So the end user has this choice uh, here. Okay, let me uh, close this feature with uh, another example. Um, as with all the other charts that we have in the ZBVI uh, uh, charts visual, you will find that um, you can use many other settings. Like for example, if I'm now presenting costs, okay, I will simply go navigate here under the chart settings and I can invert the variance colors, okay? So normally you would see here uh, uh, we have a negative, a negative growth here. It's minus 3% from previous quarter. Okay, but because these are now costs, I will simply click here to invert the variance uh, colors, meaning, um, you know, declining costs are actually beneficial for us. So that's why the uh, uh, highlights turned into green color. Okay, uh, again, with the filtering, you know, if you, if you filter it here, now I'm only seeing the uh, costs of goods sold on the, in the other chart or, yeah, looking at operational expenses here, I can see now the uh, types of operational expenses in my other chart and so on. So it also works nicely in the filter context within your Power BI reports. So hopefully this will give you uh, even more tools, even more visualization methods to express yourself and make sure that your reports are as actionable as possible.